Yo, yo, guys, welcome back. We've got the best day on the track. Quiet. Everybody thought it would be raining. We tried our luck and it worked out. Yeah. We always care and think of while we're riding, especially our, all us new riders, is our body position. And I thought of talking about the body position because it's a very windy day out there, which your body position affects your riding much more than any other day that it's smooth, no windy, and it, you can be easy, more consistent. Now you've been blown a bit away, you're moving around, and you're trying to think what's the best spot I can get on the bike in order to avoid the wind. Now, one of the most important things I wanted to mention, which is very easy for everybody to, to adapt, is what you do once you're on a straight. We're gonna take it easy. I see a lot of riders, they ride, and once they come out of a corner, they're like that. And they're trying to guess like that, sometimes they're trying to put the chest down, but always the head on top. And, and you're on the straight. And especially today with the wind, what do you need to do? And straight, guys, before I forget, it's not only the big straight that you find on a track. You have small straights between corners and corners. You need to tuck in. So, you're coming out of a corner, and instead of going like that, get in. It's gonna help you put more weight on the front of the bike. It's gonna help you not grab wind, which it's gonna make the bike easier to wheelie, at the same time for you to wumble, and mainly, the wind is gonna push you back and you're gonna be pulling the front. So, once you get on a small straight or big straight and you know that there is no, even if your corner is coming to the other side and you're already prepping for the corner, just back inside. Don't be there, don't be there, be inside. Try to do everything around the shield of the, of the bike. Whatever protection the bike is giving you, use it and be in between. But let's take things slowly, slowly, and grab it from the start. And the start and the most important thing for anybody is the corners. You get to a corner, how to position your body, how to put your body when you're braking. So let's run quickly and talk about, once you jump on the track, before you approach a corner, a couple of things you need to do, step by step. Right. So you're approaching a corner. You left your pit line, first corner coming, first time on the day on the track. Take it easy, do a lap in any sort of way you want to see that the bike is working right, to see the conditions of the track. Don't get out there and start going crazy. On the first session, on the day, and first lap. After that, you know what's coming. You do your first lap. That went nice, and now you, you fall into it. You're going down the straight. You're approaching a corner. You might be in a high speed or a low speed. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean anything. First thing you do is you, you get your body ready for the corner. Let's say we have a left hand corner. Get your butt ready for the corner. Don't wait for when you reach the corner, but get there. You're breaking by putting slightly your weight on the back. At the same time, you have your body position where are you gonna go? And you just kill the top. A lot of people are thinking I need to get my knee down. You don't need to get your knee down. You're gonna get eventually your knee down without even realizing. You just need to do the right thing on the bike in order to keep it stable and not crash. By not crashing, Next session you're gonna improve, and the session after you're gonna improve more, and you're gonna get up to speed. Think wide, don't think narrow. So, you go like that, you take your corner, you come out of the corner. Coming out of the corner, we said we don't go, you don't go up, but you swivel your head and you put it in, and you accelerate. You can even drop your weight on the front of the tank. In that sort of way, the bike is not gonna wheelie too much, and you're not gonna have to pull the bike back by being in that position. 
So you brought your body back, and another corner is coming. If the corner is on the same uh, left hand corner again, you stay there. You don't need to do that and that. You can just stay there and you go again. Just think your head, steer with your head. Use both your legs to hold on. Try to apply a 40% uh, pressure on the inside leg so you can allow the bike to steer. At the same time, a 60% on the outside by trying to lock in so you can hold on there. Use your leg to hook on. You can do that by putting a bit of pressure on the toes on your foot and locking in on the tank. Some of us will use a bit of uh, anti-slippery uh, pads which allow you to grip easier. Be careful, they destroy the suit. That's basically the movement. Half the butt outside before the corner. If another corner comes on the same side, keep your butt outside. If the corner goes on the other side now, you don't need to do a triple, a double move. You don't need from there to go in the middle and after that do that. You can just go from one side, you accelerate and you jump on the other side. So again, you can steer with your head. Drop your head, drop your elbow. So if you like this, it's not going to work. Try to tip the beam. You don't need to go like that. Just put your butt out and go like that. Small movements. Let's run out and I'll come back and continue with what more I have to say about the body position. Bang. So guys, that's more or less the basics having to do with how you need to deliver your weight while you're riding. Another thing before I say goodbye in this quick introduction how to be on the bike while you're riding uh, for the first times on a track is how you put your foot. I see a lot of guys, what they do is once they reach a corner, they bring the foot and they put it like that. Once you do that, what is going to happen is most likely, first of all, you overextend without having to. In the same time, your foot is going to grab for no reason. And also, you're not gonna be able to put that 40% of pressure on the inside in order to turn. So what I highly recommend to everyone, just keep your foot in a normal position. Put your foot out like that. You don't need to go there. You can just open your foot like that and see if you're touching your knee, how far from the ground you are. Keep your foot always inside. More safe, more protection, and also if you fall, the foot bank is not gonna catch your leg. Now, that's more or less, guys, a quick introduction in how to ride first times on the track. What you need to put attention more on your body, how to deliver your weight, and what to do in between corners or in small straights. Think simple. We're gonna get much more into it. We're gonna get into more the technique, what you need to do on specific corners and we're going to start with our local track Eastern Creek here in Sydney Australia but for the meantime focus get used to how you ride a bike on the track because it's very different than being on the street yeah I was a really quick guy on the street suddenly I got in the track and the all for information I didn't know what I was doing anyway nice to see you again more and more to come I love you all and stay tuned guys, give me a like. It's the only way that we can push this channel up. Bang.